Okay, so again, if you have uh, access to a printer, I recommend that you print the notes. Um, that way you can go, um, you can jot down your responses uh, on, on a piece of paper. Uh, unfortunately, if you do not have access to a printer, then you can simply type your responses. I know it might take a little while, for example, right here, so you can delete this and then write your response uh, for this question. So, so again, some of my notes, lectures are based on guided notes, and this one will be based simply on the notes itself, and I'll ask follow-up questions to that. So I'll be reading the notes aloud to you all, and, and I just all I need you guys to do is simply just... Um, write down your responses uh, and again if you don't have access to a printer just simply type them if you don't this i just need you to really really focus on this part um right here this is an introduction video that you can play uh so you, that we get you can get a glimpse about what africa is uh, physically all right africa is the second largest continent in, uh it it is not a country there are 54 countries in africa one of the biggest misconceptions that i've seen over the years uh students make, making the mistake that Africa itself is, is a country. It's not. Africa, within there, there's 54 countries, okay? Um, there are many different cultures and languages, 1,500 to about 2,000 in Africa. So referring to Africa as one homogeneous unit is problematic. All right, the first question, I wish if Africa is the second largest continent, which is the largest continent in the world? Take about uh, 10 seconds to write down your responses. So... Uh, press pause and then press play once you have your answer. Second question is how many countries does Africa have? Take about 10 seconds, uh, press pause and then press play. Your answer should be 54 countries. Third question is how many languages are spoken in Africa? Press pause and then press play, take about 10 seconds. Okay, your answer should be uh, between 1,500 to 2,000 languages. And with that, it just gives you uh, an understanding of the diversification of languages and culture in Africa. All right, so the next part. Um, Africa is often portrayed as an impoverished, violence-ridden disease or as a continent full of primitive tribes and wild animals. While all of these aspects exist in every continent to some extent, including Africa, most African nations have large urban populations, significant sources of wealth, peaceful people, healthcare, and other social services, and modern society. All right, in your notes, um, how is Africa typically portrayed? Pause, then press play. Take about 20 seconds for this question. Okay, so um, if you wrote that, there's a lot of stereotypically, they're saying that Africa's just a lot of violence, there's a lot of disease. Um, that should have been the correct answer. And the second question, if, if that's how it's often portrayed, how is Africa typically overall? And again, take about um, 20, 50 seconds for this part. So press pause and then press play for this segment. All right, and if you already responded saying that Africa is, it has the large urban populations, uh, has a lot of wealth, uh, a lot of peace, peaceful people, healthcare, and other social services, then that'll be correct. 